Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade from One UI 8 Android 16 to One UI 7 Android 15. As you can see on my phone, I'm running One UI 8 Android 16. This is Samsung Galaxy A16 as you can see and it's running One UI 8. I'm going to show you how to downgrade it back to One UI 7 Android 15 because Many people after upgrading to One UI 8, they were like, uh, they are facing a lot of stability issues, a lot of app compatibility issues, and many other bugs, lags, and some people also reported that their phone battery life has decreased a lot. Or if you are like, I have got a green line or something like that after update, even after downgrading, it's not gonna go away. I'm just trying to tell you guys. Unfortunately, this is a hardware issue. You're gonna have to fix it it's not a software issue anymore so you can't just downgrade it and the line would just to go vanished but if you are facing some other problems or anything you will be able to downgrade and solve all of those problems so without any further ado let's start the video Okay, so in order to perform this process of downgrading our phone from Android 16 when you are 8 to Android 15 when you are 7, we need three basic things. The first one is obviously going to be a good internet connection to download the previous Android version officially from Samsung servers. And second thing is you need a computer obviously to flash that file, firmware file of the previous version into this new, in this new phone with the new version. And obviously you need a data cable which is the third thing to connect your phone with your laptop and that's it. Okay so in this method you have to remember that all of your data will also get removed means all of your application installed, all of your photos, videos, uh, messages, contacts, everything is gonna get removed. So it's a better idea to back up each and everything before this process. And second of all let me first show you my phone's model number is completely different from the phone's model name for example my phone model name is simply a16 as you can see this is product name a16 but the model number is different from your phone's model name so the model number is a16 5f as you can see just ignore the first and last uh, sm and ds words just focus on the middle one which is a16 5f this is the model number this will help us to find the appropriate or original binary firmware for this phone and after doing this what you need to do is you need to remove all of your accounts from your phone so go to manage accounts and i already have one account here if you may have many more accounts that are all logged in on this device so you have to select them individually and remove them i will show you how easy it is remove account and then remove because this is my main uh, Samsung account it's gonna ask me my password my fingerprint my pin etc but if you're uh, removing some easy ones like Facebook Instagram whatsapp Twitter X they won't ask anything alright so you have to do it so we have to click sign out and then as I told you it's now also gonna ask me my password and it's gonna remove it as you can see guys I removed each and every account from here now there's no account left and then I will also show you my phone's uh, Android version just to make you sh make sure guys and uh, Android it's running on Android 16 as you can see and also let me show you by going to software update that's the latest version as you can see when you have version 8.0 Android version 16 so after doing each and everything after remembering your phone model number removing all of your data removing all of your accounts now just you have to power off this phone all right just power this phone off now everything we have to do is we have to do it with our computer so here we are on our computer screen i'm using windows 11 you can use any version from windows 7 all the way to windows 11. so then you have to obviously first step is to download that firmware i've given this website's link in the video description which is going to help us download official firmware from Samsung's servers so in the search bar you have to type your phone's model number which we just saw in my case it was A16 and 5F so we have to select that phone 
it will show you some small glance information about your phone so that you can make sure that you are installing the correct firmware for your phone. Then after you see all the crazy firmware that you can install or select our hardware command to download the uh, firmware from the phone from the country that you are currently living in. Currently I am in Pakistan so I am going to go in Pakistan and then if we scroll down a bit more you can see all the regions that are firmware that are released in Pakistan currently. You can select your own country of course. As you can see there is a new version which is B Android 16. Can you see here? At OS. But previously it used to be V which was Android 15. Now you have to download this firmware but there are some conditions that you need to meet which are that the bit or SVW rev number should be the same. This is also called Samsung's binary and there's a rule in Samsung that you can only upgrade your binary or remain on the same. You cannot downgrade binary. For example, if you are on region 5 and if you wish to go to region 4, that's impossible. You can only upgrade. If you are on 4, you can definitely go to 5, 6, 7, whatever. But even if you are on 5, you can't downgrade back to 4. And thankfully, Samsung, whenever it releases a new OS version or new major update, they do not change their binary so that people can downgrade their phones official method. This is the official method which I'm showing you. So as you can see, we have still the same version which is uh, binary 5. So we can clearly and easily downgrade it back to uh, Android 16. The version doesn't matter, the binary does. For example, a new operating, a new version just after this update will arrive. That's definite, which will be a security update and a minor fix update, uh, which mostly fix all the problems that you're going to uh, have right now. But anyways, after you get that, it will be obviously based similarly on Android 16. But you will notice that the binary will have been upgraded to binary 6 in my case. But if you want, you might be like, okay, the previous version is also Android 16. Currently, I'm using Android 16. I can downgrade back, obviously, to the previous version. You cannot because the binary has changed. As you can see, this clearly here, these both are Android 15, but you cannot downgrade from binary 5 to binary 4. So the only options from binary 5 is binary 5. You can upgrade it. You can't downgrade it. Actually, the, I'm talking about binary. There's no word about Android versions, as you saw. So now we're going to be going with this version because the binary is similar to the latest version which we have installed and fortunately it's Android 15 so we can easily download on this. So just click on the version to download that Then scroll down, scroll down. As you can see this is the size which is 6.42 and you can see the build number added and other things, security patch level as well. Now here's the thing to download that firmware, I will highly recommend you download it from sam for servers because they have already cached that update for you guys so that you have, don't have to directly download it from Samsung servers. Just have to click it. So as you can see, there's now a download option popped up. So we have to just click the download option to download it. You can download it but I have already downloaded it, the version so I'm, I'm not going to download it all over again. Here is that file as you can see. Now obviously after downloading the firmware we also need a Samsung official software uh, to flash that on our phone and this is Samsung Orden. By the way fun fact this is the same software that Samsung engineers use to fix your phone problems. So you to scroll down again and then if you download the latest stable version then you might see a few ads just call those. I've already given all of these links in my video description so you can easily go there and just uh, redirect to this website directly so don't have to search around or just find which is the authentic version of the website then click on the latest version all the way down now select the version that latest version to download and it will start downloading again i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it all over again here's that file after you got all these both files it's going to extract those first let's extract the older one this is the very small one you can use your built-in uh, windows extractor but i'm using a software as 7-zip 
I will highly recommend you to can do this using this. Just track files. Okay. It was a very small software, so we got it. Now it's done about the firmware. As you can see, the firmware is around uh, 6.42 gigabytes. So we have to now again. I'm using 7-zip. You can use any extractor you want. And after extracting, it's going to take some time. As you can see, after extraction, the size will be around 8.2 gigabytes. In compressed, it was 6.2, but after com decompressing this, it's going to be 8.2 gigabytes. We just have to wait for it to complete here. So as you saw, it completed. Here's the firmware files. You can open it up. As you can see, these are the files after extracting it. Now we have to open up the software that we just extracted as well to import all of these firmware files into the uh, flushing software. So here's this one, Order 3. So you just have to right click on it and then you have to run it as administrator. Click yes. And then obviously you have to delete your Google account I already showed you and to make sure the appropriate binary as well I also told you about everything. Just close this and now here is the software itself. Now we have to import the firmware in it so first of all click BL then browse to the firmware where you have kept it so I have got it in desktop here is the firmware files so open it up then we selected BL so we are going to be selecting BL here. Once the BL is successfully imported, it will show a check here, which means it's successfully imported. Now we have to do the same with AP. Here is the one AP. This is the main file, so it's the largest one, and it takes the largest amount of time to import it. So it can take uh, nearly five to six minutes for it to import. In the meantime, the program might say not responding or something. Don't touch anything. Just wait for it to completely import it. It's going to eventually import it. So as you can see AP has been also imported, now we have to do the same thing with CP, click CP, then import the CP. Now we got check here as well, now for CSC. Now here you will see two files, the CSC one and the home CSC. So you have to select the CSC one, just ignore the home CSC, just double click on CSC to import it as well. Now our firmware has successfully imported into our software now we have to connect our phone with our computer and start the flashing here is the Ordon file that we just prepared Ordon software and this is our phone here as you can see now we have to connect our phone with our computer for that I'm using a data cable now make sure to use a good quality data cable so that it does not disconnect while we are doing this process if it does there's a high chance that you might break your phone so First of all, connect the computer end onto a computer first. Make sure to plug it in the fastest USB port of your computer so that it can give you a faster speed and can do the process quickly. Then what you need to do is you're going to press volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously and then you have to insert the USB cable. Alright, so the both buttons, you have to press them and then USB cable. So 3, 2, 1, both buttons, USB cable. Keep holding them until it's your warning screen. Just keep holding them. This is the screen that you're supposed to see. This is called the warning screen. As you can see, what you need to do is also told in here that you have to press volume up to continue. As you can see, volume up to continue. So just press volume up once. As you saw the beep in our computer, which means our phone is successfully connected with our computer as well. So just have to place there. And if, let me show you. In my laptop as you can see we have got an added option which means that the phone has the computer has detected the phone successfully all right you can also see a comb here which comb 5 which tells us that tells the order from which port the phone is connected so after doing these both things we have to just simply click on the start in the order here so three two one just started that as you can see the screen the status bar on top as you can see the line in here in the phone as well 
so we just have to wait for it to complete everything don't try to touch anything or try to pick up your phone because if it disconnects again i told you it's as a warning you'll find my your phone might get bricked Okay, as you saw, reset and pass. When it says pass, then you can successfully disconnect the USB cable as well. And as you can see, the phone is rebooting here. Now our computer work is done successfully. We don't need it anymore. So now the phone is going to restart a few times. The first boot is going to take some time, depending upon your phone's speed and performance. So we just have to wait for it to complete. Okay, as you can see the loading screen we are in our one us 7 welcome screen hey look at that welcome screen of one us 7 we just have to now finish the web setup wizard it's very really simple we all know how to do it so i'm just gonna fast over this part for you guys So as you can see, you're all set up. So we're gonna click home, and here we are on our home screen. And by the way, let me prove it to you guys that this is One UI 7, not One UI 8. All right. So I'm gonna go into my phone settings again, then into about phone. As you can see, this is the same phone, Samsung A16. And if I go into software information, there you go, guys. One UI 7 on Android 15. We have successfully downgraded it from Android 16 to Android 15. I hope all of the problems that we were facing are also solved in this build. And I hope this video is beneficial for you. And if you want to see more educational and technical videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you have any queries, any questions or any errors that you face during the installation or anything or downloading the firmware, please feel free to ask me in the comment section it's all yours thanks for watching i will meet you in my next video goodbye for now